Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the secret grunts using spikers in Halo 3. So, as you know, grunts don't normally use spikers. Those are brute weapons, and they're well, basically in campaign, you're never supposed to see them use spikers. But there are actually two sets of grunts across two different missions that we know of so far that are actually using spikers. Two on the Storm and two on the Ark. So for this video, I'll be showing you where they are, and how to find them. But before we get into today's video, I've got some exciting news I wanted to share with you all. So by now, I think you've all figured out that I like uploading videos to YouTube, right? Well, as you probably also noticed, every now and then, I like to upload a wacky or silly video on this channel, and there's certainly a lot more where those came from. <laughs> so I was pretty excited when Amino reached out to me to sponsor this video, and I learned of Amino's new stories feature, and the fact that these stories are easy to find and don't just disappear like other places do. So if it's something you like, I will continue publishing wacky Halo content on there consistently. Uh, if this all interests you, then click on the link in the description below, or search for Amino apps to download Amino. You can find my stories by searching General Kid, and make sure to follow me on there, and click the bell icon so you'll know when I'm posting new wacky videos. Alrighty, so let's start with the grunts on the mission to Storm. Uh, these grunts are arguably the easier ones to get to and find. Um, it's Pretty much, there's not really much you need to do that's too complicated, it's pretty simple. But what you want to do is just come to this part of the mission on the storm, and there are a number of ways you could do this, but the way uh, me and Photos Chaos decided to do it here is just to grab the missile pod up here, the destroyed one, and just once you pick it up, just wait like a minute or two. In the, uh, in the distance, there'll be another phantom that flies in, the second one. That's the one that drops off the regular wraith in front of the, uh, the door leading to the next part of the mission. So this is the phantom that contains not only a bunch of brutes wielding spikers, but also the grunts. So what you want to do is just simply shoot down the phantom without hitting the turrets. So you want to basically aim for like the back of it, like you know, back center or the back fins. But don't aim for the turrets, otherwise you'll kill the grunts. And I mean, yeah, they'll they'll be dead and drop the uh, spikers, but you won't be able to see them alive and using it. Apparently, somebody told me that on the Halo on Halopedia, they said the grunts don't fire the spikers, which is untrue. They actually do, and that's the one. They um, they're the grunts on the turrets, both of them. Uh, each grunt on the turret on the plasma cannons of the Phantom, when you blow up the Phantom, they somehow survive actually. Uh, actually, pretty much every grunt always survives uh, a phantom being blown up, even if they're on a turret. The explosion doesn't affect them, I guess. But if the phantom's too high, then they'll die from fall damage, which is what which is what usually happens in a lot of missions. But on this mission, the phantom is low enough that the grunts don't die from fall damage. And when they fall down, they, well, they're wielding spikers and they'll just basically resume their normal AI and just uh, seek out enemies and kill them. And of course, there's two of them. So that's the first one, and the other one, which is an identical one, is um, will also be roaming around somewhere. Uh, sometimes, if you don't see them, they might be stuck in the wreckage or something, or in the in the debris. So you, you gotta move them, move the pieces around, and look for them. But they'll both be there as long as you didn't hit any of the uh, turrets with the missile pods when you locked on. But yeah, so two grunts here using spikers. The next set of two grunts is on the mission, the Ark. This is, uh, you can basically start from the second rally point. It'll take a little bit longer to get to because you need to start from the beginning of the second rally point and get all the way to um, this part where the Scarab comes in. So you want to wait for the Warthog to come here. And what we're going to be targeting here is the Phantom that was just flying over there to our left. So once you get on the Warthog, don't drive too much further. Stay in this general area because if you go too far ahead, then you'll trigger the phantom and uh, cause it to fly forward into the mission, which will make it harder to get the grunt off. So you basically want to stay here and just uh, either... You, um, you can do it solo if you want, so you just get on turret and keep shooting the phantom, or have a teammate shoot the phantom. Either way, it doesn't really make a difference, but this will take quite a few shots to destroy the phantom with the Gauss Hog. It, um, the shots aren't, like, they're not super effective against the uh, phantom. So it's going to take a while, and it will push the phantom back a little bit, which is actually a good thing. Uh, just ho hopefully you don't push it too far back, because if you push it too far back, then the grunts will be on the, uh, the ledge above, and you won't be able to really reach that ledge. So hopefully they land on the rocks underneath the ledge. Um, 
but you know it could be a little tricky to do and sometimes you may have one or no grunts survive but anyways uh, here we go the phantom blew up and I don't know if you saw in the distance but both grunts did fall out unfortunately the one grunt on the other side was too high up and did die from fall damage but fortunately we did save one grunt over there and that grunt uh, is floating a spiker as well now you want to be careful if you have marines on your warthog make sure to get rid of them otherwise they'll probably kill the grunts before you see them in action uh, but nonetheless here we are the uh, other spiker wielding grunt so why do these grunts exist and have spikers are, is it an easter egg eh, probably not i think it's just a mistake or an oversight because the phantom is full of brutes that use uh, spikers and it's probably it's possible that like you know they gave spikers to all the brutes and then accidentally also gave it to all the grunts as well because you know everything in it has spikers except for the grunts so it's probably an easy oversight but we'll never really know for sure it's only only Bungie really knows how that happened but yeah so hopefully you guys found this video to be interesting and if you did enjoy this video make sure to leave a like uh, leave a thoughts in the comments if there's anything else for me to look into or check out or explore or something like that just let me know in the comments and I'll definitely do my best to look into it when I get the chance but other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.